DC motor direction control. DC motors are found in most of the products of our day-to-day -day life. For example, electronic toys, fans, tools, discs, pumps etc. DC motor is an actuator that converts the DC power supply into rotation or movement. There are different types of DC motors. Brushed DC motor, brushless DC motor, geared DC motor, servo motor, and stepper motor. Different types of motors are used in different applications, like robotics, precision positioning, industrial automation, etc. Generally, when a DC motor is associated with any electronic circuit, it is often connected using a motor driver IC. A motor driver IC provides the necessary current for the motor to run. It can also control the direction of the rotation. In this project, we will learn how to control the direction of a DC motor by using 4017 decade counter IC and L293D motor driver IC. These are the components which are needed in this project. 4017 Decade Counter IC L293D Motor Driver IC 2 16 pin IC base 1 kilo ohm resistor 10 kilo ohm resistor 1 red LED 1 DC motor 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector tact switch on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. L293D is a motor driver IC which has 2H bridge inside it. It can control two DC motors. This is the pin diagram of L293D. VCC and ground pins are connected to the positive and negative terminal of power supply. Enable 1, input 1 and input 2 are used to control the motor's direction. These pins can be connected to any controlling circuit. Output pins are connected to the motor. When enable one pin gets a high signal, then it enables the output of one side. When we give a high signal to enable one pin, high signal to input one, and low signal to input two, then motor rotates clockwise. And when we give a low signal at input one, and high signal at input two, then motor rotate anti-clockwise. When enable one pin is low, then motor stop rotating. This is CD4017, decade counter IC. This IC has 16 pins. It has 10 output pins, one clock pin, supply, ground, and reset pin. Initially, the IC will give a high output at its pin number 3 and low output at pin number 2. CLK, or clock pin is initially connected with the ground supply. When we push the tact switch once, then clock pin connects with the positive supply, and IC gives a high output at pin number 2, and a low output on pin number 3. When we again push the tact switch, then clock pin connects with the supply again, and IC gives a high output at pin number 4. Pin number 4 is also connected with the reset pin, so at this time circuit will reset and again give a high signal at pin number 3 and low signal at pin number 2. Pin number 2 and 3 of IC, CD4017, is connected with input 1 and input 2 of motor driver IC. So every time when we press the tact switch, polarity of the signals at input 1 and input 2 gets reversed and motor changes its direction of rotation. These components will be used to make the circuit First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1-inch screw, inside the hole. 
Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch inside the hole. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor will protect the LED from high voltage and current. Now we will solder the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the tacked switch on the PCB. Tacked switch has 4 pins, 2 upper pins are shorted with each other from inside, 2 lower pins are also shorted with each other. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 16 pin IC base on the PCB. Connect pin number 16 of IC base for L293D with pin number 8. Connect pin number 16 with positive power supply. Now short pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13 with each other. Now connect pin number 4 with ground power supply. Connect pin number 1 of L293D with positive power supply. Now connect pin number 2 and 7 of L293D with pin number 3 and 2 of CD4017. Now connect pin number 8 of IC base for CD4017 with the ground power supply. Now connect pin number 12 and 13 of CD4017 with ground power supply. Now connect pin number 15 of CD4017 with pin number 4. Now connect pin number 16 with positive power supply. Now connect pin number 14 of CD4017 with the joint of tact switch and 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect the DC motor with pin number 3 and 6 of L293D. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now plug the IC 
on the IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.